Hi, I didn't have time to do the devotional at home, so let me do it here, just uh, in the parking area. And um, I remember so well when I was young, when I was about to go to Pasadena for the seminary, there was one particular advice that my director, the regional director, gave me that got stuck in my mind, in my heart, because he said, um, uh, Bernie, there's something I want you to remember. You may forget everything else I said, he said, but remember this, be humble. I tell you that small advice, two words, has been a big help for me because through the years I have been tempted. I've been tempted with pride and arrogance and self-righteousness and all of that. So I'd like to share it with you. In Proverbs 16, verse 18, it says, Pride goes before destruction. And a haughty, which means an arrogant, condescending spirit, before a fall. I do believe that when we start thinking that we are more special and that we deserve everyone's respect and that we start looking down on others and that we have a lot more to offer, then we become proud. And the scriptures tell us that that means that God is opposed to that. God is opposed to pride. And then we are operating outside grace, the grace that God gives to the humble. We become a fall waiting to happen. Uh, the scripture is in 1 Peter, that's I'd like to share, verse chapter 5, verses 5 and 6. And it says, you know, for me who was younger at the time, this was a, a good scripture to remember. I think for all of us too. You who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves all of you, no exception, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time He may exalt you. Wow. Scriptures here tell us that humility is something that God prefers Humility preserves us while pride destroys us. It says pride comes before the fall. Acting in arrogance is like, it's like, it's kind of laughable. It's like wearing a sign that says, kick me. Or being proud is like a prayer to God saying, strike me down. Because that's what says God opposes the proud. Think about this. Do you know that every day, every hour, every Every moment we choose either to humble ourselves or to be proud. It's a choice we make. And think about this. You and I have this to make a choice. So if you want to be humble, take a good look at God. And then take a good look at yourself and notice the difference. When you see God as as he is, and you see yourself as you are, the very thought of being proud or arrogant becomes absurd and laughable. So therefore, be humble.